A couple of weeks ago, I talked on the diatribe about all the Jesus shit on the license plates here in my home state of Georgia, and it was one of those diatribes that elicited a lot more response than I was expecting. Now, the overwhelming majority of it was people expressing solidarity and sharing stories of similar experiences that they had where their state or local government made them feel singled out for their lack of religion. But there were a couple of responses sprinkled in there that really test the claim that we always love hearing from our listeners. Some of the feedback was fucking stupid. Not much of it, but enough that I wanted to do a follow-up diatribe about it. See, littered in there with all the thoughtful shit were several jackasses who chimed in with some variation on, well, that's what you get for living down south. And look, th th these people are our listeners, so I, I don't want to be overly harsh in my response, but you can shove that shit back up your ass and leave it there. Okay, leave it there like you were cheating at chess with it, because that's where dumb shit like that belongs. I mean, I, I don't have enough time on this show to point out everything that's wrong with it, but let's start with the glaring privilege that you can barely even see the point through, right? Like, I, I, I'd venture to say that most people in this country can't just up and move wherever the fuck they want to go. People have jobs that tie them down. People have family that they count on to help them with childcare or that's counting on them. And a lot of people just don't have the money it takes to move. Take it from somebody who's done it more than a dozen times. That shit's expensive. I mean, fuck, Lucinda and I moved here, down here to take care of her dying father. Does the point, that's what you get for taking care of terminally ill relatives, really belong in the conversation? But even if we just lived here because we were a big fan of fucking humidity and giant cockroaches, it shouldn't matter. One's rights shouldn't be contingent on one's geographic location. And to the extent that you disagree with that statement, you aren't a humanist. You haven't earned that title. Nobody deserves to have their rights abrogated on the whims of a bigoted majority. I mean, as I pointed out before, even in Alabama, America's most Christian state, better than one person in 10 isn't Christian. In Georgia, that number is damn near one person in five. So some of my favorite atheists, the, the people that I see doing the most and working the hardest to advance the cause of secularism are in Louisville, Kentucky and Nashville, Tennessee, and Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Salt Lake City, Utah. Look, I get why atheists want to live in more secular parts of the country, especially as we turn abortion access over to the governments that are no longer bound by the Voting Rights Act, right? But I, I, I couldn't blame anybody for escaping from this hellhole if they had the means and the opportunity to do so. That being said, is that really what we as a movement want? to abandon huge swaths of this country to Christian zealots, to give them full control of state and municipal governments, to guarantee their continued overrepresentation in Congress? I mean, let's not forget that the Democrats' meager Senate majority here is only there because the liberals in Georgia came through in a couple of runoff elections. Whatever shreds of progress we can squeeze through Congress's puckered asshole are entirely because rational, progressive, secular people didn't move out of the South. Of course, there's more to this regionalist bullshit than just the state-by-state -state divide. The more nuanced and only slightly less wrong version of this pits the urban areas against the rural ones. And that's a far more accurate way to look at the demographics, right? Ur urban centers in Alabama are, after all, more liberal and less religious than a lot of, like, rural parts of California. So a lot of people wouldn't fault me for living in Georgia. They'd fault me for living in a small town. That's why I've got it coming. And while that's more accurate, that doesn't make it any less useless. In fact, to whatever degree it's more informed, it's less reasonable. See, what you have to remember about rural America is that it sucks. It sucks so bad. It's fucking terrible, especially if you're young and employable and want to do shit. Right. For most people in most places, the job market is terrible. The dating pool is anemic and the nightlife is non-existent. There's rarely anything worth doing. And when there is, there's rarely anyone worth doing it with. So quite reasonably, most people with the ability to escape from the rural towns they grow up in do. They go to colleges and cities and experience what it's like to live in a place where things happen. And most of them, to the extent that they're able, stay in those cities or move to different ones. Hell, even if you kind of prefer the little town that you grew up in, the jobs are in the cities. So most people have to move to them. Now, that's not to say that everyone with the means to leave the rural areas do, but the likelihood of moving away goes up the more employable you are, right? The, the more you excel at school, the more talented you are, the more entrepreneurial you are. The end result is that rural areas are consistently denuded of their most successful citizens. 
I mean, I, I, not to reduce human beings to their economic potential, but we're talking about towns that bear the cost of raising and educating these people and then don't get to tax their higher incomes or work at the companies that they start or share in the local benefits of whatever it is that they go on to do. Inevitably, these rural areas wither to some degree and the cities and suburbs prosper to the exact same degree. So, yes, rural areas are, generally speaking, shittier, but not through any fault of their own and certainly not through the fault of whatever rationalists were left behind in the intellectual exodus. Those people need our help and sympathy more than anybody. And what's more, they deserve it. Those of us who benefit from the rural brain drain owe it to the people left behind to prop them up now that all the people with the means and inclination to do so are so far away. But ultimately, my biggest problem with this regionalistic bullshit is that it's lazy. It's an excuse to wash one's hands of the problems in this country because they're not affecting you and say, ah, fuck it. Those are the red states, right? It's the social justice equivalent of arguing that global warming isn't real because it's cold in the town that you're in right now. It's short-sighted, it's dismissive, and it's stupid. It has no place in my inbox, in our movement, or in polite discourse.